Lawrence, what's the best thing about this town, this roller ski track? I think the, the mountains are really good. The, yeah, the lifestyle is good here. The nature here is amazing, so it's really good to feel uh, alone, like it in the, in the forest. And yeah, I feel really good uh, in this kind of day when, you know, it's sometimes hard to, to wake up in the morning and yeah, with this uh, nature around, it's really beautiful. I'm always traveling all around the world and there's uh, wonderful places, but yeah, it's always good when you're at home and you can relax. So there's no place like home? No, no place like home. <laughs> it's good when you come back home and you're, or you're with your girlfriend. Don't speak all the time about biathlon. It's good to, to have my uh, biathlon life and to, to cool escape sometimes. 80 podiums and 36 victories in 174 World Cup starts. Two Olympic gold and two Olympic silver medals. Five World Championship gold, four silver medals, three-time World Cup total score. Do all those numbers amaze you? Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, uh, when I was young, I never dreamed about one gold for two, you know. It was a, a dream, but an impossible dream. So. When you, when I listen to you, it's really I'm really proud about it because I, I know what it means and I know uh, how hard it was to get it. When I was uh, younger, I was sure that one World Cup will be enough for me, one World Champion title will be enough, and when you won one, you realized that you won two, three, four, five. You know, it's um, uh, endless uh, uh, quest. <laughs> My parents uh, wanted to, to be more, you know, in a good atmosphere in the mountains, more quiet, so it's why they moved. It's, I think they never planned that we will do some uh, sports for for job. Simon is four years older than me, but I know you always want to do what your brother do, so I wanted to follow him uh, and uh, he started ski and I follow him. I always um, watch at him and uh, look at him and uh, you know Simon is a great inspiration for all the athletes in the world. Uh, he, wo he works really hard and that's an uh, amazing inspiration for a young brother. My parents wanted us to be happy and to, to be playing, to be outside, and it's why we started cross-country skiing. It's what, it was not for competition or for competing, you know. I, I think I'm really lucky that my parents never put any pressure on me. And uh, I think skiing was a game a long time, but uh, I think competition is in my DNA. Skiing was pretty natural for me. Shooting, well, it was not the, the case for shooting. I was not good at all at the beginning, so I think uh, I, I love this um, uh, this because I was not good and I wanted to be good. I only wanted to become a champion. It was my dream for years and years, but strangely I realized I can be a champion when I was one, you know, in Vancouver when I crossed the line, I said, ah, my God, I am in uh, Salt Lake City and uh, yeah it was beyond the was just crazy winning four four gold medals in uh, one Olympic was yeah something amazing that's a big moment for me I think uh, Raphael Poirier was a great inspiration for me as a French athlete uh, also um, Vincent de Fran because he he learned me a lot about biathlon you know what's different today about the Martin Fourcade, who has won just about everything in biathlon, and the Martin Fourcade who competed in Pyeongchang in his first world championships. Mm -hmm. A lot. You know, uh, in, uh, in Sochi, I, I, I told a lot about um, the difference between me in Vancouver and me in Sochi. I told that I was a child and now I'm a kind of uh, adult, but... Um, yeah, you know, it was my first uh, big uh, event in Berlin, 
my first Walker beer, and uh, I was uh, I uh, just get big eyes looking at at the big champions. You know, it I I never was disappointed about um, about my second place in Sochi. Uh, you know, after the shooting uh, the first shooting range, I, I was pretty sure that my race was uh, over. I was last, and um, yeah. Then everything was good, and I catch guys, 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 and when I saw that uh, I I could win, it was just amazing, and I, I gave my best. But Emil was just yeah three centimeters better than me. But yeah, it's enough to be Olympic champion or silver medalist. But I was not disappointing at all, only because it was really short. What was the best advice your parents ever gave to you about sport or life? I think to make everything I, 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 I could, I can to, to be happy, you know, pursuit of happiness it can be something a bit, uh, uh, yeah, kitsch, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's uh, really something I, I, I search all the time because I, uh, yeah, it's why it make me happy in my private life and in what me successful in my sports life, so, yeah. Never easy to push myself fully really hard, but mm, I think it's one of the key of the success to train uh, uh, really good when you are alone, because uh, you're focused only on yourself, on your feelings, and you don't speak with your teammates. Your, yeah, it's uh, really hard, but uh, it's the key of success of the best guys. Does it make your training so much easier to have such a beautiful spot for training? Uh, it's the first year we get this first ski track at home. And uh, yeah, it's really more convenient for training for biathlon, more safe too, because there is no cars on the, on the road. And it's really good for the young people. Uh, parents are really more, you know, it's easy for them to send their, their child to world ski school if uh, they do it on a safe track. Thinking about winning a medal in cross country, it's another little challenge for you. Yeah, that's a, that's a big challenge, not a little <laughs> challenge, a big challenge. But uh, uh, it's uh, something I I want to do because I love this sport also. And uh, it's some people told me that uh, it it will um, make me less good in biathlon. But uh, I don't think about it. I'm sure I will be better than because I will improve in skiing and I will be more, you know, uh, angry when I will come uh, in biathlon races. And if it's not a success? That's life. It's okay. it's life. Life is not only success, but, you know, it's uh, more about the, the challenge than that about winning the challenge. A big difference between uh, biathlon and other sports is that when you, when you are at home, you train almost the same when uh, that when you are in training camp you know i have uh, no more rest at home than in training camp so uh, saturday morning i i wake up around eight and i am in training at around nine until uh, 12. i'm always with uh, my friends you know uh, eating we we are a lot of uh, biathletes in the same place so it's cool to to be together outside of um, training camp or outside of biathlon world, even if we share a lot of uh, time together on the year, it's uh, good to you know to be like normal people. You had the opportunity to spend some time with um, President Hollande a few weeks ago. Did you give him some advice about running the government, <laughs> or did he give you some advice about biathlon? No. Uh, uh, I asked him how oh, oh much um, holidays he can uh, take each year, and it was almost the same as me. <laughs> I wanted to start biathlon because I I saw Ole Einar and Raphael on TV, so I hope some some young boys want to do the same as me as I do. I think I'm lucky with the life I have, and it's why I try to share with a lot of people because I I will feel lucky. Where will we find Martin Fourcade in 10 years? Uh, I'm sure you will uh, 
find me not uh, far away from sport. I don't know in which uh, place, but I will work for sport for sure. Finish the sentence. Martin Foucault is... Happy.